Welcome back to the show. Well, it is the season for great movies at the box office, and there's one that's opening in Seattle tomorrow that is already generating a ton of Oscar buzz. It's called Birdman, and I promise you, it is unlike anything you have ever seen. We had it all. You were a movie star, remember? Everyone who sees Birdman becomes an extension of the film because it's about audiences judging actors, holding them up and cutting them down, and the toll that can take. At the heart of it all is Michael Keaton, playing a former comic book movie star named Riggin, trying to make a comeback on Broadway. So people will say you're doing this play to battle the impression that you're a washed up super. No, absolutely not, absolutely not. That's why 20 years ago I said no to Birdman. The movie isn't based on Keaton's real life, but he is astonishing in the lead role, which required him to shoot long, unedited sequences, leaving little room for error. You pass a certain point, and then instead of it being confining, it actually becomes liberating because you've, I don't know what it is, you've kind of jumped over the hump. And yeah. Did I do something to disrespect you? Not yet. Keaton's co-stars include some of his fans, like Edward Norton and Emma Stone, who talked about him the last time we interviewed her. My son interviewed you for Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. You like superheroes when you were growing up. I really liked, have you ever seen Beetlejuice? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you're gonna watch Beetlejuice. He was one of my superheroes, Beetlejuice. What was that like for you working with this person who you had as a child? loved on screen we, and we both felt both. that way mm -hmm. yeah not so much being starstruck but more just hope, hopefully finding that that you're impressed by the person for a different set of reasons right the entire cast is impressive including zach galifianakis our perfect dream actor is not going to knock on that door and go hey fellas when do i start you know who plays Riggin's level-headed producer, a calming force in a hurricane of self-doubt how do you do with that do you read reviews do you care about the one negative comment versus the thousand good ones? It's an opinion, someone's opinion. Yeah. Like, I don't like certain types of music, but I understand why people like it. I understand if someone doesn't understand this or like this movie, I wouldn't want to hang out with them because <laughs> they, they didn't get it. But if there's one thing they should get, it's Riggin, because he represents the ego in everyone, sometimes supportive, sometimes soul-crushing. Mix that with imaginative cinematography and wild special effects, and Birdman is what so few films are, completely original. Just don't know how, I, I've seen it, and I've seen, and I was in it, and I, I know, you were in it. <laughs> you still can't wrap your mind no, around it. No, no, yeah. no, it's really an accomplishment. Let's go back one more time and show them what we're capable of. Birdman is the best movie that I have seen this year. It's rated R and opens in Seattle tomorrow.